destroys anything within a two mile radius, we're going to lob a missile at the beast to destroy it, we feel compelled to slay Godzilla alongside him, they requested that they proceed a little farther, they travel a considerable distance. The army is now launching this missile into the sea, a massive explosion erupts, Godzilla is hurt and has to be thrown away, however, we can see that the king monster has not been harmed, they helped him by eliminating Godzilla, he then rests on that volcano and sprouts a new head, he sends out a signal, and all of the world's creatures awaken, because the rocket failed to kill the monster, everyone was concerned, it implies that he was extremely powerful, they begin to look for ways to beat him, then they discover that he isn't a creature from earth, but rather a visitor from outer space, as a result, Godzilla desired to eliminate him. Godzilla was a true monarch, after all, he didn't want anybody else to take his spot, other creatures have begun to appear, after that, the monster from the beginning appears, she was born into that company, she is portrayed as Godzilla's companion in this film, she starts singing for him when she can't find his signals, Godzilla's signals have now been discovered by members of the organization, they learn that he is still alive in this town, she travels to a location where Godzilla formerly resided. They track him down to the ocean's depths, then they see many artifacts around them, we learn here that humans and Godzilla have coexisted for a long time, Godzilla owned this location, when he was injured as a result of the missile blast, he came here to recover, this location was extremely radioactive, this was a location where they could repair their bodies, the doctor suggests that they detonate a nuclear device here, he'll be able to replenish his energy more quickly, the doctor then gives Godzilla some nuclear pills, meanwhile, their squad takes a step backward to avoid the blast. The doctor bids his last goodbyes to Godzilla as he touches his body for the last time, there was a massive explosion, under the sea, everything is destroyed, it provided a lot of vigor to Godzilla, Emma's daughter attaches a microphone to the device, she activates the frequency in order for the creatures in their immediate vicinity to relax, however, King Monster believes it was done by a human, then he pursues them, intending to murder them, then Godzilla appears, and the people assist Godzilla in defeating the monster, Godzilla, on the other hand, lacked the necessary might to vanquish him, that creature was on the verge of killing Godzilla when his buddy creature appeared, she engages in combat with the king monster. However, another monster intervenes and stops her, both of them battle again in this scene, with Godzilla's companion beast killing him, after that, she encounters Godzilla, because of the radiation, Godzilla's energy level was full, however, he was sufficiently hurt to prevent him from defeating him, here, Godzilla's ally monster makes a self-sacrifice, she screams at herself, Godzilla's body begins to absorb the radiation emitted by his body, it begins to cure his wounds, he emerges as a formidable beast once more, Emma is now shown with his daughter and ex-husband. Emma now uses her invention to keep the other animals cool, however, something begins to pursue her, people from the organization as well as the army had left, Emma was ready to be killed by King Monster, 